Right, I thought I'd make a little video on a really simple thing I do with this is leftover um, starter that I haven't been able to bake anything with or don't need for baking. Um, so it'd either be redundant to go in the bin, um, but I don't like throwing things away. So I've got a really good little recipe for making these little cumin pancakes, which I've shared with some of my friends. So get some cumin seeds, just like a healthy-ish amount. Sprinkle them in. Chimerick, good for anti-inflammatory. Bit of that in, about a teaspoon maybe. Um, and I've got this chilli grinder with some dr dried chilies in it. Um, put a bit of chilli in there to give it a bit of spice. You can put whatever you want in here, like it doesn't have to be these, but the, I do think it works very well with like cumin and stuff like that. Let's get some chilli in there. My little grinder. And then, a healthy pinch of salt. A grind of salt, in this case. Mix that all up. It'll be a nice yellow colour because the turmeric stains everything. And then I'll take you over to the frying pan to show you how I fry these into little kind of, I don't know, fried pancake things, which I'm going to do with some poached eggs and avocado as a brunch. Right, so I'm heating a frying pan. I've got some rapeseed oil, um, but you could use olive oil if you want, any kind of oil. Slug a bit in the pan, nice cover. Heat that up a bit. Got a plate at the ready to put them on when they're done. And a spatula for flipping. Okay, I think we're ready. So, a blob. It's all quite messy, this, but trust it works well. Make it down a little bit. Sort of spread them out into sort of little blobs, like little mini pancakes. Then just flip them over and squash them, squash them out a bit when you flip them. Look at that colour, looking lovely. These are really good. Should be nice and tangy and sour, especially as your sourdough gets more developed in flavour. As it gets older. This is from my old sourdough, so they'll be nice and sour and tangy. Little mid baby one. Just get these onto the plate and I'll start my poached eggs and assemble these as a little brunch. Alright, while my eggs are poaching, I'll quickly show you how I assemble this. I've got some Smashed up avocado, I'm just going to put that on, each of these. Those. Then a bit of salsa, cheating. I've got some in the fridge because I haven't got any tomatoes. So 
So I've got my smashed avocado salsa topped with an egg. Two. Three. A little bit of chilli. Salt. A bit of coriander. You can cheat in your scissors. You can chop it if you want it a bit more refined. And just to make it a bit more exciting, a bit of gooey egg. Look at that, it's good.